I see some people to uh, to gather to make their feather sticks. Uh, sometimes people want uh, some thicker some thicker shavings. They don't want to deal with uh, you know little tiny shavings. And I see one of the methods is to you know put the stick up against something uh, and, and brace it against your knee and, and use your knife drawing back towards you, which is a, which is a safe method. And uh, you would use a fixed blade, although you, you, you could use a, a folder. And we're just doing this right here, right? And you've, you've seen that method. And it's pretty safe because, you know, your, your elbow or your hand, you, you, you're not going to cut yourself. But there is a way to do it. And uh, it's just as safe. Perhaps you don't want to uh, spend one second here. I'm going to just cut this down real quick. Okay. So hopefully you can see that. So, and it's just doing, this is a piece of maple. So this is not soft wood. Same principle, right? We're going to get we're gonna get our big, our big shavings, All right? Real thick shavings. And uh, this way here is nice for a couple reasons. One, you're cutting away from yourself. And uh, number two, you're up off the ground, right? If you're uh, got a lot of snow beneath you. Sometimes you might not want to squat in there, especially if you're dealing with, you know, tinder and different things. So there would be one, right? We would take this. There we'd put this in our pocket. Of course, I'm using a hatchet. You could use, uh, really, you could you could use anything. But the whole thing behind it was was to gather some some bigger shavings this way here like I said we're not cutting towards us at all there's no specialty uh, types of techniques to avoid cutting yourself but you're you're, uh, you're 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 pushing with the tool so you're not gonna cut yourself of course a large knife would work nice too uh, doing these different push cuts So if you wanted to get some of the uh, dry inside of the wood and uh, you don't like the method where you're bracing something against your, uh, against your knee and cutting towards yourself, this is another method. Quite easy to do. I mean, uh, you know, there's there's nothing wrong with with either way, but just to show you that that you can get tinder, you know, in a, in, a, in a multitude of different fashions. Nothing that says you can't do this either. Make things a little bit easier on yourself. Always easier to plain. Uh, wood with some angles on it like that you can see we're getting some thick uh, nice thick curls which is part of the entire idea behind this this method of, of feather sticking granted it's not as pretty as some of the methods out there that that some people like to use but in short order we uh, got quite a bit of uh, tinder there and this will this will readily take a spark now we'll say that uh, you wanted to make a spark uh, with some shaving or with with uh, with your ferrocerium rod which might be a little more finicky well then at that point let's make some thinner ones then right just to go along with that and maybe put that where we're gonna where we're gonna have our spark do all different kinds.
some of those are very, very wispy, thin, and curly on the end. And we can utilize, you know, a bunch of these. I, I would make more of these personally. It's a guarantee. Nothing's worse than burning up half your tinder to not get to not get a fire going, uh, and then having to you know remake it all. So that was just done with a with a simple hatchet that I wouldn't say currently because I've been using it all day uh, is really that that sharp. Uh, barely maybe cutting some hair, but uh, definitely not some shaving sharp uh, two hundred dollar tool. As anyone who knows an S wing hatchet. But you don't need it to do this, and as I said, this is just another method uh, in case there's people out there that do not want to uh, be shaving towards themselves, towards their knee, be uh, crouched down to the ground. Um, <clears throat> where I'm at here, there's a lot of swamp and, and, some, and some different things, and sometimes uh, <clears throat> there may be a lot of water nearby and different things, but pretty much where I live and, and where a lot of people live, there are trees around. And if that's the case, you can always brace yourself up against the tree. And worst case scenario, uh, you'll slide into the tree bark. But everything's being pushed away from you and uh, real easy to obtain uh, your, your, your tinder. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Take care.